Sometimes it helps if you can come down on it and, you, and then we got it open. We've just got them in at an angle like that. And straight away we get it open. And we got it open. There we go. G'day internet. CJ with you again. A couple of quick things before we start guys so I don't waste your time. It's a dead latch if it's got this little dead latch plunger on the back here. This is the state that the lock should be in when the door is shut. If the dead latch plunger is not held in a retracted position by the strike plate when the door is closed, the latch is not dead and is free to be shimmed from the outside. This is the state that the lock is often in on an incorrectly installed door that allows too much play and allows the dead latch plunger to protrude into the strike plate. If your dead latch is installed correctly, this trick won't work. If there isn't any play between the door and the door frame when it's shut, this trick won't work. So don't waste your time watching the rest of the video, okay? There's a little bit of play here. That's not enough. Basically, that dead latch plunger has to fall right into the hole in the strike plate in the frame where it should be held back for this trick to work. If none of those things are true for your door, don't waste your time watching any further. You can if you want, I'd appreciate it. But if you're trying to get a door open right now, go and look for something else, okay? This isn't gonna help. G'day internet, CJ with you again. Uh, so the most popular video on my channel by several hundred thousand views is uh, a video about lock picking but it's actually not about lock picking it's about latch slipping there's been a fair bit of comments and feedback about the fact that it's a rambly bad quality potato quality video could be done a lot better and fair comments you know fair enough fair feedback okay so we're going to deal with two different doors in this video an external door both a surface mount style security dead latch we're not going to address that in this video i'm going to disable that shortly door one external with dead latch door two internal without dead latch both have a thumb turn the external door has a keyway so let's have a closer look at the handle on this beaten up old exterior door eh it's got a keyway on the outside there there's the dead latch plunger on the back of the main latch there and there's the thumb turn on the inside which locks the handle but note again the latch itself is not locked by the thumb turn or the keyway. Alright, so having watched that guys, your next two questions might be, well what tools would you use if it wasn't shutting tightly, and since it is shutting tightly, how are you going to demo this? The answer to that guys is I'm going to use one and or two strips of this thin plastic. How am I going to demo this? Well what we're going to do is just take this strike plate off, and that will just open out that hole a little bit. So we're outside, we've lock the handle set with the thumb turn and by removing the strike plate what we're doing is simulating a poorly installed handle set and strike plate where the dead latch plunger is not being retracted so we'll attempt this shim attack first with one piece of plastic and we can see that that's not really got the stiffness to hold up so we'll double it up with a second piece and coming in at an angle from above and down on the latch we get the door open so we're going to try this again with the two pieces from a similar angle. Just got them in at an angle like that. And straight away we get it open. And we got it open. There we go. Our edge is getting a little mashed up there. So we'll take the other end this time and we'll go down on it again. Straight away in. Here we have a Lane branded handle set of a very common style. It's got a thumb turn on the inside there, which prevents the handle from turning. So we just engage that. Handle doesn't turn, but the latch itself is never locked. It's not a dead latch system. That isn't a keyway on the outside. That's a privacy override, which can be operated with a small coin. You can just slip that in there. Turn that, and the door's openable again. Okay guys, so you're outside the bathroom and the little lad or lasses lock the handle on you on the inside and you need to get in and check that they're all right or whatever it is. You could, as stated before, use a small coin to turn the privacy override on the outside of the door, that slot there. 
if you can't find a coin you need to get in in a hurry but you can find something like the good old notebook from the last video you'll notice that this door's got a lot of play in it which makes this very easy in we get try that again there we go and sometimes just to make it a little bit easier you might just need to give the door a bit of a bit of a wobble, which just releases and helps the latch slip a little bit easier under the pressure from the edge of that piece of plastic. Easy as. One last clip, just to make it super, super clear what it is we're trying to achieve here. You're trying to get your little bit of plastic around the corner of the door, in between the door and the door frame, to just engage that curved surface right there and just shove it out of the way. If it's a non-dead latch system and the door's poorly installed and not very well hung, you might only need to move that latch just a couple of millimetres, just a tenth of an inch or something like that, to get it to disengage the strike plate and the door's open, regardless of what the handle's doing. Thanks for watching guys, I hope that was interesting. In the future I might have a look at the fixing and maybe picking this sticky old Lockwood, and we might also have a go at picking uh, that keyway for the handle set on the outside there too. Pretty keen to do a video about this cool Art Deco style handle set with a lever lock. So that's coming up pretty soon as well. And I've most definitely got a padlock video coming out soon. Cheers guys. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed that. And uh, I'll see you soon. See you on the next one. Cheers.